and live on YouTube. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. And let's check one other thing here. Um, we're going to go there. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to see my smiling face. Okay. Well, that's good. It's good to have a smiling face. <laughs> Whatever it's worth. All right. Well, welcome. It is Wednesday, January 15th, 2020. And let me adjust this cam just a tad. There we go. There we are. And we are in pre-show today. Today we are going to talk about uh, John is here. Hey, John. And Dean is here. Welcome. Um, we're going to talk about some automated switching software. Dean has an intern that grew up in Fairhope, Alabama. Really? Oh, man. Who is that? Can you share a last name or a first name? Don't give me both. Um, but you never know. We, my kids grew up here, so it could have been a chum of one of my, one of my youngsters. No, the, unfortunately, our guest today, he and I had a miscommunication on, uh, on timing, so he won't be here. So I uh, will be looking for a volunteer, <laughs> excuse me, from the studio audience to help us out. Vincent, hmm, Vincent, Vincent, Vincent. I'll have to check. Rings a bell. Hello, Wixton. Glad to have you. Peter's here. Welcome. Glad to have you. Petra's here. Welcome. Petra, you may be the lucky one. How would you feel about uh, dialing into the show and coming on? Because the, uh, the developer of the software couldn't make it today. Last minute thing. Anyway, think about it. Get yourself set up in your studio and I'll send you a passcode. Hello, Rich. Good to see you. Well, not to see you, but to see your name anyway. <laughs> I hope you are well. I hope you're well. I was thinking about you earlier today. Did y'all know that Rich was the 2018 live streamer of the year from Streaming Idiots? Yes, he was. And uh, we haven't announced the 2019 winner yet. We'll have to do that. We might do that at, at NAB. Okay, so Petra says, let me do my hair. <laughs> okay, let me know when you're ready, and I'll get on Facebook and send you a passcode. I think I remember how to do that. Let's see. Facebook is, uh, Facebook's pretty scary, you know? Let's see. So, um, Petra... A uh, new message. Oh, no, there she is right there. Petra. And if I do this, does that put the... Yeah, there it is. Linux call. A-S-S-W-R-D. All right, there it is. It is in the... Um, what do you call it? As in a fa Facebook message to you, Petra. So just dial in when you're ready. So Ken's here. Chris is here. Oh my gosh. Uh, we were going to have another Kiwi on the show. Yes, we were, but um, it just didn't work out. They um, had a, a schedule conflict. Um, and uh, I, I neglected to, to confirm that soon enough. So it was my bad. Yep. Rich says, uh, might need some help with my book, so might be reaching out to some... F oh, yeah, you guys know that Rich is writing a book on live streaming. And um, he, apparently he has writer's block. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. I need to get this over here closer so I can use my cough button. Danielle is here. Welcome, Danielle. Daniel, Daniel. I'm, I have a new daughter-in-law. Her name is Danielle. So if I say Danielle, then um, it's, you know, it's just my bad. So, uh, so Rich might need some help with his book. 
Mike is here. Hello, Mike. Glad to have you. Petra's almost here. She's going to be our guest today. Petra and I were part of the vMix team at um, IBC in September in Amsterdam. That's kind of like the NAB for Europe. And uh, it was a great opportunity to meet her and hang out. Got to meet John. There he is. Hello, Jan. Glad to have you. Meet him for the first time and his lovely bride, Marie. And uh, we even had dinner one night. Actually, two nights, if you include the bird dog night. Um, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Big shout out to all of you that are thinking about maybe going to NAB this year. Um, the Streaming Idiots Meetup is a party you don't want to miss. That's Monday night at, uh, at NAB. Remember, NAB starts on Sunday this year. So it will be the second night of NAB, and it will be, uh, it will be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of fun. All the, all the people, well, I won't say all the people, but I'll say a lot of people in live streaming will be there. Um, obviously, not everybody can, can go to NAB. I get that. All right, let's see. And Don, Donald Oliver Ministries is wishing us grace. Thank you, sir. Grace and peace to you as well. Indeed. And we are, we are still in pre-show, as you can tell from the little verbiage down there. Orangeburg, South Carolina, welcome. Glad to have you. I like South Carolina. It's one of my favorite states. Some of my, some of my best streaming buds are in South Carolina. Um, but Petra is going to join us today for the show. And basically, no responsibility other than just, just to chat. The software is basically a piece of software that automatically switches the camera shot depending on the audio. So if you have, a, if each person has a microphone and each microphone's input comes into vMix, then um, you can you can switch your whole show without touching anything, especially if you have multiple people. It's ideal for radio stations where you want everything automated like that if possible. But there are a lot of people that run talk shows that it would benefit by. And I was thinking about, about it for my church the other day because everything, everything is driven by, by um, what was I going to say? Everything is driven by audio. Okay, let's see if I can get Petra's last name. She's shown up in the vMix call, so let me get a couple things squared away here, and then we will get her on, because I don't want her to have the wrong moniker underneath her when we bring her on. That one wouldn't be fair. E-N... And let's see, we'll leave that blank for the moment. And we'll come back over here and we'll do the same thing. Petra, you're, you're, you're wonderful. Thank you. Hold on. Sit tight just one second longer. There we go. And we're just going to blank that out. Good. And then... Let's see, I'm not over there yet, so can we can we fake it here? One second. We're doing some quick realignment of vMix so that I can have a shot from here. Is that the right shot? Nope, that's not the right shot. Let me try another one. That's the right shot. There we go. There we go. There we go. So if we go there and then we turn her on. And let me get some headphones in so I can hear. So I can hear. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can, can you I, hear me? And I, I can. I can. Nice. Hang on a second. I'm hearing Good. you twice. Let me make twice. sure. Let me make sure. Got things um, turned off here. That might be on my end. Uh oh. Uh oh. I do hear it twice. I do hear it twice. Is it also yourself or only me? Only me. Only me. Oh. Not you. Not you. 
But I do hear you twice. I do hear you twice. I mean, I do hear me twice. Like it's being repeated back. Repeated back. Okay. I had to. I had to improvise, uh, so that's the reason why I have this uh, headset. Sorry. <laughs> Understood. 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 Well, I'm so delighted well, that you so could be here today, today for this quick, for and, this dirty quick and dirty demo. Um, yeah. Basically, um, basically, yeah. Donald, yeah. Says, we hear Donald Tom says we hear Tom as twice as well. Yeah. Twice as well. Yeah. We'll work on that here in just a second. We're still in pre-show. We're still in pre-show. Folks. So pre-show is allowed to have things don't work quite the way you would expect. Um, um, let's see, let's see, what is the, what latency, is the latency on this call, on this call, let's see, let's see. open and call manager, call and manager. we've got, wow, wow, we have got like, have got 60, like 60 milliseconds, milliseconds latency, latency from you to me, from Patrick, you to where me. are you today? Where are you today? I'm in the Netherlands, so in I'm the like, Netherlands. Oh. In the Netherlands. Like four thousand miles from you or something? Nah, no, no, nah, you're just nah, you're just nah, an you're inch just, away. Just an inch away. Okay. <laughs> but you are returning you audio are returning to me. Audio to me. Yeah, that's uh, the idea. So you're talking. We're talking. So it seems to be okay. You're returning my you're returning audio. My to me. audio. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. We can fix that. Okay. There we okay. go. I hope we'll work on that. We'll work on that. <laughs> While Petra works on that, what we've, um, what Petra is going to help with today is she's going to be a, a voice coming in over VMix call, and I'm going to be a voice coming in through my Behringer UMC 404 HD via USB to the PC. How about that for initials? Um, over ASIO, and then we're going to let the ASIO feed and the vMix call feed be captured by vMix and converted and made available to NDI. And then the NDI will be picked up by this piece of software and it will listen to the NDI signal. And based on the NDI signal, it'll switch cameras. I don't hear me anymore. I'm gone. But I don't hear you either. <laughs> so we're making progress, but we're making re regress. Marie is here. Welcome, Marie. Okay, now that's back. I got you back. I got you back. And yeah, I got me back. Yeah, but you still have double then. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Still doubled somehow. Double somehow. Huh? Jan says that his Ooh, wife seems to think she's allowed to steal his phone and make comments in his name while he's cooking dinner for her. Jan, I think she's got you right where she wants you. <laughs> Welcome, test, Ron. Test. Ron is here from Daphne, Alabama, right just up the road. Glad to have you. Okay. How about now? How about now? Yeah. How about Better? now? How about now? My echo is gone. Oh my gosh. Nice. That's good. What was it? Did you find? Did you, nice. What What did you find? Oh well, I'm using something new. It's called the Go XLR for audio. And it seems that I have to switch off the uh, system audio to you. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Well, good. Well, now you know. So when it's really important, there you go. you'll already know in advance. So Petra and I got <laughs> to hang out for, what was it, five days in Amsterdam at, at NAB? About three days uh, this time around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh that's right, because you weren't able to make the last couple of days. That's what it was. Yes, Correct. Yes. But we got to uh, we got to hang out and talk with people about VMix. We got to go bowling, and uh, it was just an outstanding, outstanding time. Yeah, it definitely was, and I I really look forward to uh, seeing you again. Uh, hopefully this year. I don't know, but uh, it would be great. I, I think that would be great too. I, I'll, I'll hope that too. Tell everybody what it is that that you're doing, because you've been so so nice to to take a moment. Whoa. What happened here? A little earthquake. Well, and just just to FYI, so it's already, let's see, 9 p.m. here in the Netherlands. And uh, so I was uh, about to unwind and watch the show and looking at uh, something which is really interesting for me. And um, especially because it's something that I actually needed. I was actually working on it, trying to do it myself. And then out of a sudden, out of the blue, today came something and it's like, 
<sighs> you know, that, that, that feeling that you have is like, oh, this is it. This is what I need. So that's what we're going to talk about uh, in, in a minute. Um, and um, so I was really, uh, really looking forward to, uh, to uh, learning about it. Not knowing that I would be the guinea pig of today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, let's get it set up. Let me get over to the studio side and um, you sit tight just one second. Oh, that's right. Yep. Marie Marie has a knee problem. That's why she can't cook because she hurt a ligament in her knee from skiing. That's what they said it was skiing. I suspect it was something to do with something else. You never know with her. Okay, let's, y'all bear with me just one second while I get this phone on mute. And there we go. And I get a pen and get my lemonade and my USB keyboard. And we'll switch over to the other mic. And hopefully if I've done this correctly, We'll be right here. That looks good. Let's see where can we put our lemonade where it's out of the way. There we go. There we go. All right. Now one last thing is I need some ears on. And oh, before I do that, I've got to get this software where I can, you know, one thing I've noticed when I mean, we're still in pre-show here, folks, well, we'll, we'll just start the show and then I'll get up and, and go across the room and do it. The, um, the software doesn't have yet, I hope it will, a uh, deactivate button where you can just sort of turn it off temporarily. If it does, I haven't been able to find it. Petra, can, can I hear you? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Good. I can. All right. Very good. Um, let's see. Let's get ahead and get the start, the, the, the day started. Oh, and by the way, everybody w w uh, wish Dave a happy birthday because today is his birthday. He is 59. And uh, Oh, happy birthday. And holding. Yes. You need to meet Dave. Dave's a character. All right, Petra, I'm going to mute you for just a second. And let's get this show. Well, hello. Welcome. This is Streaming Idiots. I'm Tom Sinclair. I'm so delighted that you are here with us today. Really excited about today's show because I don't really know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, so that's going to be exciting. I've got a special guest, a last minute guest that, that has come on the show to help us uh, demonstrate the software that we were going to have the developer come on. But the developer and I I miscommunicated to him. It's 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 all my bad. But we're going to have him on again real soon. Toby Mills from Noise Productions in uh, New Zealand. Um, but and 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 Petra is is on standby, and she's going to pronounce her last name for me when we get there. So I'm not going to even try it right now and, and blow it. But before we get to Petra and and the software, I want to remind you guys that uh, number one, uh, the whole Streaming Idiots show is a giant infomercial for my company, Eastern Shore Broadcasting. So you need to buy something from me or else we're just gonna go out of business. No, I'm, I'm teasing, we're not going out of business, but but we, we do design and build custom PCs for folks that are in the PC market uh, that want one for streaming. Uh, we sell all the parts, the piece parts, the capture cards and the cameras and, and the vMix software and, and another piece of software that we'll tell you about in just a minute. And we're, we've been proud to represent X Keys and PTZ Optics and Bird Dog. And so if we can help you with, with those kinds of products, we, we would be happy to. The key for us is that you buy the product and you don't just, it's not just like buying it from Amazon or B&H. You get us with it. Um, and that's, that's the real secret sauce there. So you, you, you've got a product, then you've got somebody you can call um, on, a, on a phone, a real phone, and, and talk to and get answers from. Um, 
And if, if you happen to have purchased your vMix somewhere else, we can also uh, provide a support, uh, premium support for you on that as well. That package is in our store at easternshorebroadcasting.com, or you can go to streamingidiots.com. It'll take you to the same place, and the store is there. Okay, so much for the uh, gratuitous um, self-aggrandizing. Um, so let me bring in uh, my guest today. Petra is our stand-in. Petra, welcome. Um, did I turn your mic on? Uh, I was just very quiet. I did. Okay, that's great. And pronounce your last name for me. So the thing is, is that in Dutch it's Verbruggen, but you can call me Verbruggen. Verbruggen. Okay, well, Petra is here. So there we go. <laughs> and Petra and I have an outstanding connection today. Um, I mean, well, we've got a lot of outstanding connections, but, but our outstanding connection is on vMix Call, where she is coming in with about less than two frames of latency between the time I speak it and the time she hears it between the time she speaks it and the time I hear it. So that's like, you know, 50 milliseconds, 60 milliseconds, which is really amazing, really amazing. I haven't had this good a connection with people um, in my own country. Generally, it, it can run, sometimes it can, it can run 250 milliseconds, but you and I must be on that new fiber uh, optic cable that they just dropped in the Atlantic. Uh, well, it, it must be that, or we are so so uh, great friends that it has to be this yeah, way. That's you know, right. that's right. Petra and I were part of the VMix team at at uh, uh, IBC uh, 2019 back in September in Amsterdam, and enjoyed to getting to know each other and talking about some of our favorite subjects. Yes, indeed. So we, we need to get you over here to the U.S. for NAB sometime. When uh, uh, I would we... love to. I, I am actually trying to yeah. do that. But uh, of course, like always, it's a budget thing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I understand. It's it's a huge cost to come over. You know, the, 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 the lodging and the meals are, are nothing compared to just the travel. Um, holy cow. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, if, if, I can, if I can help you in any way, let me know. So Petra is here as a stand-in for Toby Mills from Noise Production. And Toby has written a piece of software that basically allows you to automate your, your talk show like this one or a radio show or, as I was thinking about earlier, even a church service where if each audio device each microphone or whatever it might be uh, can come into to your PC as a separate uh, device, then it can be used to trigger, um, and I use that word trigger loosely, not necessarily in the vMix term, but, but to, to trigger a, a cut or a fade or something like that to a camera. Um, the software is called Virtual Video Director and it is in our store at easternshorebroadcasting.com. In fact, Petra was our very first customer today. So it's very appropriate <clears> that, <throat> that you would be here. Yes. Yeah. So um, I haven't tried it out yet. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, you're about to try it out with me. And let me go. Nice. The, 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 it's a software. It's, it's in version one. So obviously there's some features that needed to be added. And one of the features that I think they need is a kind of a, a deactivate or, or disable button so that you can turn it off when you're not using it, turn it back on. Right now, I've, I've just got it killed. And unfortunately, I've got to walk across the room and turn it back on. So let me do that and, um, and we'll see what happens. And I'll walk you through what the interface. What I can do in the meantime, what I can do in the meantime, I can also ex explain something why I would like to have this uh, apl application. Uh, because you were talking about radio uh, stations. That's actually, actually one of uh, the use cases that I'm thinking of. But there's also another one that I'm thinking of is that uh, we have this, um, you know, the, our, our local government, they have this this uh, this uh, meeting uh, that they have uh, at the Civic Council, I think it's called, the City Council. That's what the, it's, uh, the English uh, version of it. And uh, what we wanted to prevent was that we have to have additional people available at the uh, city council 
um, for switching. So we want to, we only need one or two people to do that because typically those uh, um, uh, meetings are, they start at 7 p.m. and they go all the way down to like midnight. And of course, you know that that people do cost money, so we want to uh, have in a way that it doesn't. Uh, it's it's more affordable, so to speak. So that's the reason that that uh, I am interested in it to make it more affordable. All right, very good. Now you can see the software's already started, and I haven't done anything to it except start it just now. It happened to have the settings in it that it had before. Um, and let me yeah, see. So I, actually, we have to do this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If, if we both talk at the same time, it's going to bring up that double shot. And obviously, we need to tweak it so that it um, so that it, it it does what it's supposed to do without uh, any sort of uh, delay or mistake. Now, right now, it's showing a side by side shot, um, and I think it will stay here for a few seconds and then it's gonna switch back over. Um, actually, oh, that's it. Yeah, the way I've got it set up, let me bring up the interface, although I don't know that the interface will stay up very long, <laughs> but let me try. This is the interface and Petra and I are gonna be really quiet and uh, we'll bring the interface up. Now, as soon as I start talking, it probably, oh, you know what? That's, that, that was a screen capture I did earlier. Okay, so that is not the active interface right now. Um, that's good, that'll work. The, um, you can see on the left side, uh, at the very top where it says NDI, that's where all our NDI sources are. And I've picked three of probably 12 NDI sources, two microphones and the vMix call. Um, and in vMix, I told vMix to make the vMix call audio available over NDI. So we've got uh, two microphones here in the studio and then the NDI mic available. And uh, you know what? Let me do this as a, uh, as a screen, a for real screen capture. Let me go back and, uh, and Petra, you're gonna have the, the floor and let me go screen cap capture this so that it works right. Uh-oh, did we mute your mic by accident? Try again, uh, or did I? Okay, I was uh, talking. <laughs> I think I took off And the ear. it's going on. Right back, don't go away. Or uh, if uh, um, Tom is back, uh, like you see now, it comes to a, a standard shot. So this is like a, uh, a fallback shot or a total shot. Uh, how do you want to... Uh, so actually in the software, you can say to uh, the software that this is your total shot and that will help you to uh, to go always to, to a, a group of people in case something is not uh, going as you might plan. Now, there's also, and I think that, uh, Tom, you need to uh, also talk about that. There are like about five different modes and it goes all the way from grandpa mode. And that's seriously what it's at. It's a grandpa mode all the way down to a, uh, like, a like a child or a kindergarten uh, person or something, baby even. Uh, and that has something to do with how fast it reacts to changes in, in, in the audio. So that is really interesting. So again, in case Tom didn't hear me, the uh, the five modes of uh, operation, all the way from grandpa mode to uh, baby mode. <laughs> yes, baby mode. I, li I like it. Uh, crack, crack baby, I think is what he calls it. Um, a baby on crack that's just like every little mode, every little movement. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think we've got the... Uh, the screen capture, yeah, there we go. So you can see that uh, I'm, I'm obviously source number two right there. Uh, Petra is source number three. And yeah, I can also talk very quickly. <laughs> I can also talk very quickly and then it will come to me. Yes, and the way it's set up, it's kind of interesting. The way it's set up is after, I think about five seconds of being on a single shot, and this is what I set up this morning, after five seconds of it being on a single shot, it'll switch to the double shot. So if you talk for five seconds, we'll let you talk. Okay, I'll 
we'll talk for five seconds just uh, to be uh, in a big uh, screen and we're not doing anything i'm holding my hands up and then uh, three seconds or so it will uh, go back to the there you go there it goes perfect there it goes and so but it i, th I think i need to increase the uh, delay f between switches because you see it switched to me pretty quickly from that side-by-side -side shot. Now we've gone back to the side-by-side -side shot automatically. I think I have it just set for maybe one second or, or something like that. Um, so we need to bump that up a little bit. Let me bring up the interface again so we can take a look. Now the, the interface, uh, you see the sources in the top left. The, um, the grid out to the right of the, the red bar um, and let's see if I can move my mouse over there and have it. Yeah, I don't guess you guys can see my mouse. Sorry about that. It's not capturing the mouse for some reason. The, um, the, the T1, T2, and T3 are, are quote-unquote triggers, not, not the same way vMix has a trigger, but they are, um, they are triggers in the virtual video director. And trigger number one is that which happens when that particular audio, so you see number two, the red one. Um, trigger number one for microphone number two is source number one. And that's as you go through that grid and go down the T1 column and over in the, the uh, mic two row, you see number one is T1, and that's the, the shot of me by myself. If you go to the T2 column, you see that the mic 2, T2, is number two. That's the side-by-side -side shot with, uh, with Petra and I. I don't have trigger three set up. And you set the triggers um, in the box that's in the, the far right column of the software, that big box in the middle that says uh, output triggers. And so you can see I've got a, uh, a T1 set, and that's the URL of, uh, no, excuse me, that's the, the IP address of my PC, and it does a fade uh, in one-tenth of a second. And I have a 2T, excuse me, a, a, a T2 trigger set up uh, for the, the uh, IP address 127, and that's just local host. Um, and that's a fade, and that happens after, um, I can't really tell, looks like 10 might be 10 seconds. Um, and so basically in the, in the software, I've now set it up where whenever mic two is talking, it will go to number one. And then after 10 seconds, it goes to number two. When mic three is talking, that's Petra, uh, it will go to number three, which is her single shot. And then after 10 seconds, it goes back to her double shot. And we've actually got a third column there, the T3 column. Uh, where it will it will do something else after a period of time, so it's it's got a uh, got a lot of power, um, and Wixton says I have an echo. I'm sorry, um, not sure where that's coming from. Oh, you know what? It's coming from that other microphone. There we go. We got that fixed. All right, so let's get this uh, let's get this back up and see. We'll, uh, we'll get Petra and I, I running here. And um, Petra, let's, let's see if you can have a go at it, see if we can. I haven't done anything to it. Now, I, I, maybe I've accidentally disabled it, but um, you, you have a go and let's see if we can make it work. Okay, let's, let's do that. So um, I'm gonna use this time also to uh, talk about um, the question of uh, Tom uh willis uh, he asks if uh this only works with vmix or that it, that it can also work with obs and to my best knowledge i think it's only working for vmix and tricaster at this moment uh, tom is that correct that's what i understand yeah. yep two but also what uh, tom said uh, earlier on is that it's still in a version one so it might change in the future we never know so um that's one um let me see if i have some more information um yeah so uh troy uh, says uh, you might want to change the uh, a crack baby mode to something less depressing and i think that that might be a true factor uh, as well yeah, that that uh, that's that's only a good joke if you don't have a baby like that. Yeah, 
if you've ever had a child that uh, that doesn't sleep well, you, you don't appreciate those kind of jokes. That was my oldest. He was a, a finicky one for a while. Um, all right, well, I'm going to make some adjustments to the software, and, and let's bring it back up again right here. And let's see, I'm going to uh, adjust the delay here. Let's adjust that delay to two seconds. So it, it's two seconds before it goes to that. Um, and then the, uh, the director personality is set for pr professional um, director. And so that's sort of an in-between between, between crack baby and grandpa. But let's, let, let's don't change too many things at once. We'll keep that one there. And then um, the, uh, what is that? I can't read that from here. Uh, the program simulator. Um, basically what that does is it will go to a particular shot um, just periodically, just randomly, um, like you might during an interview where you're going to take it you're going to have a, the camera on the person that's speaking, and then periodically you're going to get on the other person to watch them nod or shake their head or, or whatever they're doing. And so this does it, and it basically uses some sort of AI to do it. Um, and so if we were to, uh, you, you can't see my mouse, but if we were to click um, in this, this column uh, that's, that's called uh, PS, right at the very right of the T1, T2, T3s, the, the PS would assign that to, to that particular um, input so that we would change automatically from that. We're not going to try that out today, um, but we're going to stay on personality director, uh, excuse me, on uh, professional director um, and, and not use the, uh, the, the, the program simulator. And then we've changed our uh, number one delay to two seconds and we'll change our number two delay. Let's bring that to five seconds. So we'll do that, and then we'll come back to this side-by-side -side shot. And then, um, Petra, you have purchased the software, but you haven't downloaded it yet, have you? Uh, I actually did already. I actually already started it. Um, and I've looked at it and it's like, okay, I think that I can manage this, <laughs> but, um, I am still, of course, learning it. And I think that you already, uh, are a little bit further than I am <laughs> compared to, uh, a few minutes ago, a, a tad maybe, <laughs> but, uh, I am, I also wanted to say that, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm basically, I cross my heart. I'm not uh, selling that this product for you, but, uh, I am so impressed by the idea, at least, that this is a possibility because it will not only uh, looking at, for instance, uh, a, re a reaction of uh, Wixen uh, from, from Sweden, who is also on, on the fence, if I may say it like that, for purchasing it, also for uh, his uh, multiplicity, um, uh, the, the same idea that I just uh, talked about. Um, but you can also use it for your own show. I mean, you are actually now doing this in your own show. It will free up your uh, your mind and um, and really pay attention to what's going on. It makes it easier to 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 perform your 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 online uh, uh, show. So I think that there's also maybe a use case that for some people might be interesting as well. Um, I am really interested, at least. Well, I'm really interested too. And I want to try something here in just a second. Um, you notice now it goes to me and then it flashes back to us. Obviously, that, that's a cut that's happening too quickly. Uh, we, can, we can adjust that. But what I want to do, Petra, is I want to, um, I want to adjust the T2 to about, about 20 seconds or maybe just turn it off altogether so that it's only going to stay on one of us and I want to experiment and see if it will, it will go to that side-by-side -side shot when we're both speaking at the same time. So let's, let's bring up that interface again. And I'm going to take uh, the T2 here and let that be one and the T2 there and let that be one. And We'll make that 20 seconds. 
And we'll bring that down to a second. All right, so let's see how that works. And Petra, did I turn off your mic by accident? No. Okay. I'm good. still here. Okay. So you who do you want to talk? Do I want to talk? What do you want? I think we both talk at the same time. We we just talk okay. like uh, two people that are having an argument and just talk right over me and let's see what happens. Okay, I'm yeah, I will. To talk I, I mean, you, I am so interested in talking you to very, you, but it's, it's it so difficult like it's to working. really talk about so so much different things that you can do, and uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> By the way, uh, did, what, what kind of software are we talking about? Can you repeat that uh, name again uh, see, for the people? I, I am and, so uh, where, polite, where, I can't talk while you're talking, and, and you are the same uh, way, I can tell. You should be talking about... Uh, but it doesn't top of seem me, that course, it's going into the second channel like it's supposed to ah so there's a setting that we've got wrong somewhere let's see all right channel when people two people are talking is two number of people talking to make that channel turn is is two that's right um huh well let's go back to two here nothing like a live demo of the software that you don't know how to use um not we really like fair to break to the stuff. Developer. Yeah, yeah, I do. But I want to. I want to go side by side. I want it to. I want it to do. The, here's the thing. If if you have, I mean, here in the U.S., politics are just like a sport. And if you have a political talk show, you know what's going to happen. You can have two people just screaming at each other. And this would be perfect for that. Oh, now see now after ten seconds, it's kicked into the side by side. But I want it to kick into the side by side when we are going from one person talking to the other person interrupting and then it goes in side by side and i wonder if yeah and and a good and a good question from ken eh? so he asks uh, does the software have a chairman mode so that that's a very interesting one uh, might, might be something for version 1.1 or something that indeed you can override or give a priority to some uh, to a person especially if it's a chairman then of course th that person needs to be able to override whoever is talking well, there is a button that I can click that will stay on me. Now that may be, I mean, basically I just selected my own input and I, I think I can select your input and it will stay on you even when, no, oh, it doesn't stay on you even when I'm talking. How about that? So maybe there does need to be a, 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 a certain, how about that? So it just, it just cuts to you, uh, but it won't stay on you when I start talking. Okay, so it, it does need a chairman mode of some type. I got that, all right. Very good, very good, Ken. Ken's a good one for, for those. All right, so let's see, what do we need to do to go back to, uh, let's reduce the 20 seconds down to 10, because that'll keep us in a side-by-side -side most of the time. Okay, the, you know, one of the other things I like about this, because we had, um, we had software before that did this, and it uses window. It used Windows drivers, and so it was a real pain to get the drivers converted from ASIO to Windows so that the software would hear it. I mean, we, we found a, a piece of software that would do that, um, but this this takes ASIO and it takes NDI, which which really I think and and Dante, which I think is going to make it you know work with just about anything and right now they've got it working with TriCaster and with vMix but I think with a little bit of tweaking and probably with a little bit of encouragement they'll get it over to uh, to OBS and Wirecast. Now P Petra let's back up a sec. How long have you been using vMix? Um, vMix I think it's uh, three years now or two at least two and a half and um, I mean, yeah, great software. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> okay, okay, good. I've been using it since 2014, so I guess that's pushing six years. Um, and I think I've been with so, vMix since 2000, since vMix 12, maybe something like that. vMix 13. Um, it's it's been a real interesting road to 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 run. And to, and to watch so if you changes. compare that 
if you compare that version that you had back then, version 12, I think you said, to what you have now, I, what are the differences? What are the key differences on, on a global scale? Well, you know, it's funny because I, I just the other day looked back at a tutorial video that I'd done on vMix 13, um, you know, who knows how many years ago. And there was a lot of a lot of changes to the interface between 2000 between vMix 13 and, and today vMix 23. Um, the uh, the add input interface has changed, um, and it was a great change. I mean, if if anybody remembers the way it used to be, all the titles, all the different uh, options were across the top, and I think Martin just ran out of room, and so he had to run them all down the side, which which I think was a, a real stroke of genius because now he's got room for lots more different kinds of inputs as time goes on. Although, you know, he didn't take, take use of it when he added SRT. He just combined it in with NRTs, uh, with NDI and other outputs, which is probably where it belonged. But um, it's, it, it has been fun to watch it change um, over the years. Yeah, really has. All right, we've got a question yeah, here. I mean, it, sorry? No, go ahead. No, I just wanted to, to say that that well, I came from a different uh, application, uh, which I loved back then. But uh, for some reason, I, oh, I, I I recall it was the social comments uh, section, the the application that got me hooked to to vMix, and it, I, I actually bought the like the sixty dollar version. It's like ah, I, do, I don't need more than that. Just the only the, the social will do nicely. Fifty dollar version, and now I'm I'm already on the seven hundred dollar version. <laughs> well, good for you. You've 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 gone the exactly. right way, I think. All right. The question is, what happens if you want to bring in in slides to talk about, and you don't want to switch away from them until you require them? Um, that's a good question. We'll have to play with that and find out um, how to make a, a slide. I think. Um, that when I go to this view right here, since this view right here is not assigned to a microphone, that it stays there no matter who talks. So Petra, oops, we muted her by accident. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, but it actually went or not? It did go to you, didn't it? Did it go? Let's switch back did it again go? and see. Isn't that interesting? It will stay there. Okay, when now I'm I, talking. Yeah, when you talk, yeah. it will it will it will stay there. When I talk, it won't stay there. Yeah, I think we're on crack baby mode now by accident. <laughs> All right. So let's put that up. And that's a slide, and I'm the speaker, and I'm speaking. And that's great, but if somebody like my guest comes in and wants to speak. I want to speak. Tell me, I want to speak. I want to speak. Yeah, it's coming to me. Yeah. But for some reason, since it uh, since it started with me, uh, I don't know why. It, it We'll have to find out from, from Toby some of the idiosyncrasies like this. I think the... But I, th I think it's really promising. So there probably some... if yes, Patrick. If we can, what we can also test is that if I'm I am the first person that is talking at this moment. If you then put on the uh, the slide, if that's possible for you, then uh, you, you take over. What happens then? So I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. No. Mm. Don't know. Don't know. We'll have to figure that no. one out. We will have to figure that one out. But I've also apparently I've got some triggers set up in here that does some crazy things with turning on and off microphones. So I apologize if uh, if you get an echo from me or if Petra's audio is, is turned off momentarily. That's 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 on me. That's not on the software. <laughs> OK. So, Petra, what kind are there of any use other cases? questions? Yeah. What kind of use cases Sorry. are you thinking about? Uh, like I said uh, before, uh, so uh, in for me, there are two use cases that I'm thinking of right now. Is that the, one of my clients is the uh, local radio station here, 
uh, they have been just purchasing VMAX like 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 two weeks ago, and uh, I have been talking to them that. And one of the things that they really wanted to have is that in their studio, they wanted to have what they call visual radio. They wanted to have the possibility to uh, bring in guests and have this working like we just showed. And I was like, yeah, we we need to do that. And that's where the story comes from that I actually wanted to create it myself. But then this came along. So I'm very interested in that uh, possibility. Other possibility was uh, city council that I just also discussed about uh, um, that people are meeting with each other and you don't want to have somebody there for switching because, of course, having people switch d does cost money. Yeah? People need to have a uh, their salary and in order to uh, to cut down on costs as much as possible, this might be a good uh, uh, way of uh, preventing that. And also for myself, actually, in my own uh, uh, studio, what I would love is that if I would be talking to my guests, like you are doing right now, how cool would it be that I can actually use my hands and talk to you, and then you can just drop in and boom, it goes to you. Perfect. It's really what I like. So there are three use cases already there, and churches, uh, there are so much other uh, possibilities here. I see a lot of possibilities. With the, uh, with the Behringer X32 soundboard, uh, vMix can bring in each one of the channels from that soundboard natively. I think it's over USB. And if each one of those becomes its own audio input, then you could literally program, I mean, you could program any venue uh, wouldn't have to be a church. It could be a board meeting. It could be anything that had individual microphones. Um, and you may have a bank of, you know, five microphones on this side of the room that gets assigned to one camera, five microphones on the other side of the room gets assigned to another camera, five on the, on the in the middle that gets assigned to a third camera. And then when there's a big argument, it goes to a fourth camera or something like that. It also has the capacity to, um, to uh, position a PTZ camera. And it, there's a demo that Toby did last week that shows how they positioned it. And I need to get some more information on him on that one. I, di I didn't want to try that today because I was afraid that I'd blow something up. But that looks like it could be really cool too so that you don't have to have the physical cameras for every microphone. Rather, if it's a talk show in a, a radio studio, for example, um, that you've got, uh, you know, the, the way he demoed it, I think he had like, like each person had their own webcam, but there was a, a, a PTZ cam that was obviously a much better camera that would pan and tilt and zoom in on them. And then after a period of, you know, two or three seconds, once the camera had arrived at that destination, it would, it would cut to that camera shot. So I'd be interested to yeah. play with that a little bit. And it's also important to note that that PTC camera at this moment can only be a Panasonic camera. And uh, I think there's also in the text that uh, I've re I just read, like before I bought the, the, the software, is that they're open for suggestions for other cameras as well, but it's not there yet. So it will be, you know, it's version one, so it will be increasing over time. Interesting, interesting. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. and. And I think um, to do a little sales pitch on this right now, you can go to our website at easternshorebroadcasting.com, go to the store, and it's under um, audio switching software. And in the, in the text of the, the listing, there is a, a hot link somewhere in there that allows you to click and receive a 30-day trial. Um, Petra just bit the bullet and bought the whole package, and you can do that too. We've got it on sale for uh, the, the, the retail price is, is $220 US. It's on sale for um, $199, I think, US for the next week. Um, so you can download it real quickly and try it. If you want it, you can buy it um, and save a few dollars. Um, the sale will, will go through to next week's show. Um, and then it'll go back to the regular price of 220. But there is a download link for a 30-day free trial in the text of the, the listing on easternshorebroadcasting.com. 
And look how nicely this stays, just, just Petra and I right here, we're just talking. And then I stop talking and she starts talking. And oh yeah, I can definitely start uh, talking and uh, look at what happens. And there you go, it's just happened without anybody touching anything. But why did it go back to me right there? That's what I wanna know. You started talking, I wasn't making a sound and all of a sudden it thought that I was the active microphone. Why do you think it went that way? Um, it might be that there's also a option to uh, go to the other party just to, to show that that person is interested and just reacting to the person that is actually talking. It might be in like, like one of the um, um, machine learning kind of a thing that it does, the fuzzy logic. It did, it did turn that on. I can see that in that, uh, that column. Let's go back there again, try to stay in there for a second. And the check marks there for the uh, realism simulator. Um, it's it's uh, not program similar, I just can't see that far, but thank you, Dave, for correcting me on that. In the realism simulator, um, it does switch back to another person on occasion, but that just seemed to be much too quick. Uh, so, obviously, it's uh, the software is a little bit of a work in progress, but it looks like it's you know 95% complete, and would definitely work for a show like this. And it sounds like for a show like what Petra would want to do, it would work as well. So, uh, please keep me up to date, Petra, with um, how it goes on at the radio station. I'd love to get some feedback from you on that, and. Uh, you know, I will. When, yeah. and especially, um, and I'll put you in touch with Toby so that uh, you can make some suggestions to write. No sense in having them have to go through me, although I'd like to know what people are suggesting. Um, I think it'll benefit him to, to get them from the, the actual end user that has a specific use case in mind. Well, you have Thank been you super. So much. You have been super for coming on the show today. I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I've got that second mic on again. Um, oh, <laughs> Marie said it picked up my chair, and that's why it uh, and that's why it moved back to me because I have a squeaky chair. Oh, Dave wants to know CPU use. Um, Dave, I was running it earlier, and I was I was checking on that, and I'm running an i7 8700K, so that's a six core, and it's using about twenty percent. So it's a little higher than I might like, um, but I've still got plenty of headroom. I think we're, you know, we're probably at about 45% right now, streaming three streams and recording and a vMix call and a desktop capture, which desktop capture takes a lot of, a lot of hardware. Um, and then um, um, if you've got a, well, no, that, that, I'm wrong about that. Um, David says that you set the reaction shot for two seconds a while ago. Well, that may be the case then, David. That may be why it's, why it's doing that. Uh, Tim is here. Welcome, Tim. But as you guys can see, this is the first time out of the box. Um, Petra and I are both novices, and we've actually been able to pull it off rather nicely, I'd say. Yeah, but, but you're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I just well, like to break things. Well, I think in the long run, uh, one is just about the same as the other. Um, a professional is the one that breaks things and then knows how to fix them once he's broke them and uh, can do that for other people as well. Yeah. And that's, that's part of the fun of it. I mean, I spent uh, probably an hour at the local school studio this morning just kind of helping them tweak a few things. They had, uh, they had a, a, a microphone that wasn't working. Well, as it turned out, wasn't the microphone, but you know, where do they, how do they know what to check? You know, they don't, they don't do this stuff every day. As it turns out, there was a, a 25 foot mic cord hooked up to a six foot mic cord and the six foot mic cord had gone bad, or I think it's gone bad. I've got it right here, but I replaced it with something else and all their problems went away. But uh, that's, that's the fun stuff. Well, Petra, let's, uh, let's call an end to the show, but if you'll stick around in post show for a minute, if you've got a moment, um, I'd love it if sure, you Sure, no problem. Okay. Well, let's see if we can uh, if we can disable this software for a moment. 
Uh, one thing I did notice about the software, and let me bring Petra back in for just a sec. Oh, I tried to, but it wouldn't let me bring her back in. Oh, how about that? I've got to wait my five seconds, and then she comes back in right about now. Oh, I almost got it. Um, the, uh, the software does not allow you to control what you want to control in vMix. So, for example, if I want to lower the volume to zero on Petra's mic so that it doesn't, it doesn't do anything, it pays no attention, the software pays no attention to that whatsoever. It's listening to NDI, and apparently the NDI is coming out pre-fade. Um, so any fade that I put on it, it doesn't get picked up by NDI, hence it doesn't get picked up by the software. Um, and the only way for me to make a cut to this, well, there's no way for me to make a cut to this side-by-side -side shot, because if I cut to this side-by-side -side shot, I'm going to cut to it right now, and as soon as I start talking again, well, now it won't do it. Well, maybe because now it's on the side-by-side -side shot. Um, well, how about that? I, I thought I knew something, and I didn't know it, so there you go. All right, well, let's, uh, let's try to move to, to this shot and see how we do. We'll probably only stay here for five seconds, but we're going to thank you for tuning in today. And we're going to be right back with the post show in just one second. And we're out. There we go. All right, now let's see if it'll switch back to just me. No, nope, it doesn't want to switch back to just me. How about that? So let me switch back to just me and then invite uh, Petra to, uh, to speak and let's see if, is, this, is it gonna take, yeah, now, now see when it went red, that maybe that has something to do with it. You guys can't see the red signal. Uh, when it goes red, I think is when it's listening. So we'll see about that. All right, so let's go to the side-by-side. -side. And Petra, have you got audio? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. All right, very good. So we'll see if we got some other questions up there. Rich just says it's yeah. cool. Yeah, Rich, I was actually thinking about you, but I, I guess you don't have too many audio sources um, that would require cameras to switch. I guess if you had a... a a mic attached to a camera that was attached to a buoy that was 60 yards offshore um, that you might want that camera to activate automatically when somebody zoomed by it. But um, I think that might get kind of crazy if you've got 50 racers and they're all going by that buoy and the camera's going back and forth and back and forth. Oh, he wants to, Rich wants to test it on a ping pong game. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. <laughs> I, I was just considering how would it react to a like a rock band or something. That good. That's going to be all over the place. Hey, what? I'm sorry. Is that one of those Dutch words that I'm not not familiar Church? with? A concert, a, a concert. rock band, or a oh. blues band? Yeah, like a music. Ro a rock band. Okay. I thought you said a yeah. rock band, and I was like. What is a rock band? I, that's, my, that's my Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Forgive me. You're great. Uh-oh. We've muted her I was again. looking if there are any questions uh, that we missed, but I think that we've got all of them. Um, um, what happens if you want to bring in slides? That, that, that's what you did. CPU we talked about. Chairman mode we've talked about. That was my cat, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Um, no, I think that we have got we've got everything. So thank you so much for taking uh, the, well for giving me this opportunity. Um, like I said, I was just lying, uh, sitting on my couch uh, watching the show. It's like oh, okay, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it so very much, really do. And uh, 
Let's see. Okay, Otis says that there is a uh, sports radio show in Houston that uses a program that switches between hosts. And it, in fact, I think there is actually a, a software hardware product that um, is the whole studio. You know, cameras, uh, mics, software, the whole nine yards, live streaming, recording, kind of a knockoff of vMix uh, that does the same thing all in one box. But it's, I think, you know, starts like at 25 grand, but you know how radio stations like to, like to spend money. Um, that's, I think you could do it for a fifth of that, probably. Um, well, not including cameras. Add, add, add a thousand dollars right. cameras, yes. good cameras to that. Well, I mean, if you have like radio automation, then it, I also have seen radio automation where uh, not only that they switch cameras, uh, but also uh, sync like uh, video clips together with uh, the, the music that they're playing, uh, like perfectly synced. That's also really cool, to be honest. But yeah, wow. it all costs a lot of money. I would think that would be worth it. Now, that was interesting. I turned off my mic so I could cough. But the software said, I hear audio over NDI, so we're going to switch to Tom. Got it. Dave said... But I thought that... that Go ahead. Yeah, you have you have two microphones at your end, I think. So that's the reason yeah. why one, one of them is picking it up, and the other one is actually uh, switched off, muted. Okay. I've got it. I've got the right one on right now, but apparently it switches them both on when it switches to me all by myself. So, so uh, let's see. Uh, Dave says that that he's actually used a PTZ Optics USB huddle cam in a radio station setup. And Dave said you have two mics going, so we can still hear you cough. Thank you. Yeah, it's a. It's it's a trigger that I've got set up somewhere. I'll have to untrigger it when I use this software. Um, I'm not. Although this is a new PC with a new setup on it, so I can blame it on the person that put it in. Maybe that's what it is. Well, Patrick, you have been a a a wonderful help today. I appreciate that so very much. And uh, the, the no next, problem. Anytime. Stroop waffle in in Amsterdam is on me. <gasps> And, uh, you know, Tim even talked about putting a, a Stroop waffle machine in the VMix booth next year at IBC. That would be horrible. Um, would, what's going to be better than the mousepad? I think that should be almost better than the mousepad. But actually, I would love, love, love to have those mousepads again. I'm a little bit of a VMix mousepad uh, junkie. Well, what if who, there were a mousepad shaped like a Stroop waffle? I would love that. Come on, who doesn't want to have that? I, I mean, I would be impressed by that. Tim, if you if you listen to this show, please make that happen. A stroopwafel, stroopwafel mouse pad. That would be excellent. Everybody will come. It's going to be a limited edition, of course, and um, it will be gone within like the first day. That's the way it goes typically. There you go. Okay. All right, Patrick, we're going to pull the plug on this show. I do appreciate uh, you being on with me today, and uh, I will find a way to, to pay you back in the future. If you all have any questions about this new software, you know how to reach me. Um, and we will see you next week. So is there a button to turn off this thing? Bye, y'all. Bye. Let's see. Petra, sit tight just a second. Let me see what I've done here. <laughs> In the meantime, if there is a still a question, let's do that very quickly. Uh, thanks, guys. Interesting mouse pads and coffee uh, shops and with waffles. Go for it. Uh, we will try to do that. We will make that happen somehow, I hope. In the meantime, Tom is probably going to try to switch off the stream, I presume. There you go. There we go. And let's see if we can get it to. Uh... 
BC Life says, great show, Tom and Petra. Well, it's all t it's all Tom. It's all Tom. It's 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 all in the, the user's eye. What's great, what's not so great. I think this one could. Now uh, I hear you double. Yeah. Now you hear me double? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll fix that. There we go. All right, Perfect. that's Dave. And then there's Dan. You met Dan. You know Dan Slider, formerly of PI Engineering. Of course I do. Although that Who PI doesn't? Engineering, that may not be Dan anymore. I don't know. That could be Maggie. Or, uh, it probably isn't. Or, or probably Mar isn't. Miranda. Huh. Well, have well let's ask out. them. Who is it? It's Miranda. Hi, Miranda. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, we're going to close out the stream now. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next and week. And Jennifer is also a first, first, uh, first time that she's uh, uh, looking at uh, this show, so I think that uh, is a warm welcome to you, at least. Yes, Jennifer, glad to have you. That's Kent's friend. Good. Okay. Very good. Well, we'll catch you guys very soon. Bye. And the stream is stopping, it says. It's taking a while to stop.